So now it's time to move on to the AFC West for our season previews. And I'm not going to waste any time. You can see we're starting off with the Raiders. We start from the bottom. I've got the Raiders at the bottom of the AFC West. And I almost never say this for football teams. I almost never advocate for this. But the Raiders need to blow it up. You got rid of Derek Carr. And then you tried to get another version of Derek Carr. A guy that's probably a little worse than Derek Carr by bringing in Jimmy Garoppolo. Not only that, Josh Jacobs uh, doesn't... At very least, we're unsure whether he's going to be playing after he did not get a long-term extension. And defensively, where you absolutely were terrible last year, Derek Carr took the blame, of course, but it was yet another year of Derek Carr having one of the worst defenses in the NFL. And uh, not a lot done to address that. Did you go out and get major off-season off additions on the defensive side? No. You got, like, a decent linebacker and not much to speak of. You know, according to Pro Football Focus, they have the 30th-ranked uh, secondary going into the next season. And the defensive line, still, pretty much their entire defense, the only thing you can really point to is Max Crosby. And that's kind of why this is the rare situation where I would say, blow it up. You know, normally I for bad teams, I don't say blow it up because I feel like you've got to build with the young players and hope that you get better. And, you know, I think if you blow up a team and just become terrible in the NFL, it just takes too long to turn it around. And one player doesn't turn it around the same way it does in the NBA as much, maybe a quarterback. But even then, you don't want to put your quarterback in a terrible situation. So essentially, I almost never say blow it up. But when you're in a situation where overall your team already stinks, but you have maybe two or three studs that cover it up to make you somewhat decent, those are the rare occasions where I say, blow this stinker up! Blow it up, you've got Caleb Williams coming up in the next draft. And by blowing it up, I'm not saying, oh, get rid of the whole roster and don't see what you have in any of the guys. No, I'm just saying, trade Devontae Adams, trade Max Crosby, and Jimmy Garoppolo, sit him down and let... um. The quarterback that had taken over at the end of last year. Why, why am I blanking on his name? The former backup quarterback for the Patriots. Raiders depth chart. We're about to find, remind myself of his, his name. It's been a second since we've watched football. But let him run the show. Put Jimmy Garoppolo on the bench and let... Uh, oh, well, he's gone now. Anyway, whatever. Regardless of what you do for the quarterback position, you're going to get rid of Devontae Adams and you're going to trade Grax Crosby because your team has no shots. Now, if you want to be a Raiders fan and, you know, advocate for your team, you could, I guess, argue that, hey, you know, two years ago, the Vikings, they weren't very good, and they had lost a lot of really close games. And last year, you know, they kept it together a little bit, and they just turned those close losses to close wins, and they ended up going 13-3. and And maybe that's the case I would agree with if you were, say, in, I don't know, the NFC South? I'd be shit. Yeah. Even with Garoppolo. Yeah, sure. But you're in the AFC West. A division where Chiefs are going nowhere. Chargers just got a better offensive coordinator. Much, much, much better offensive coordinator. Uh, the Broncos just hired Sean Payton and already had a young defense that was one of the best in the league. Where do you think you're going? How do you think you're going to be better than these teams? You never know in the NFL. You could never 100% count anything out. But them finishing first in that division? It's dang near as close to counting it out as you could get in the NFL for me with this Raiders team. I think that it's just time to give up on this squad. You have a couple studs, and you've just whiffed on too many draft picks over the years to where start it over, get capital for Devontae Adams, get capital for Max Crosby, and say, all right, let's go get Caleb Williams next season. Let's see if we can. Maybe the Cardinals will compete with us. But regardless... Let's rebuild this thing because we're just so far away and we have a couple star players that are masking it. So time to give up. I would be shocked if this team was not at least the bottom two in the division, but I'd be surprised if they weren't last because I think there's a pretty significant gap between them and the rest of the three teams. But let me know what y'all think. Am I insane? Am I a jabroni? Am I a nut job? Drop a comment, hit that like, and please subscribe. Yes, sir.